One father still searching for his daughter, Ava Baldwin. My name's Ava. I'm a Scorpio. No. For a while now, Diddy has been on the run from the feds trying to escape from the numerous allegations thrown his way now there's new evidence that could actually put him behind bars. For a very long time after the raids of in his homes, the feds found some incriminating evidence right now Diddy is finished. And he's on the run for his life Diddy is finished. Currently Diddy is embroiled in a series of civil lawsuits and federal probes related to trafficking as well as allegations of soliciting and distributing illegal firearms and drugs federal authorities have conducted searches on Diddy properties, uncovering firearms, and seizing numerous phones furthermore. Five lawsuits have been initiated against Diddy in New York since November, alleging assault trafficking of minors and involvement in criminal enterprises back in 2015. Ava Grace Baldwin, a 14-year-old girl, declared by her parents to be missing or to have been abducted, she was last seen. On September 17, 2015, in San Antonio, Texas, when she was six years old at the time of the abduction, Ava was believed to be in her company non-custodial mother, Catherine Ann Baldwin, had a felony warrant for interfering with child custody Baldwin, and Ava's father, David Hopper, held joint custody of Ava following Hopper's request for full custody due to concerns about Baldwin's capacity to ensure triple as safety Baldwin vanished with AA. Baldwin's vehicle is a silver 2014 Ford Escape, was discovered abandoned in a Antonio parking lot in April 2016 months after their disappearance reports emerged of Diddy's homes being raided for suspected involvement in sex trafficking. Numerous individuals turned to the hip-hop mogul's social media accounts scarring for overlooked clues their diligent investigation bore fruit. When they uncovered an old video featuring Combs and his adopted daughter Ava Barron, Combs in a clip from 2020, posted on TikTok Tuesday. The Bad Boy Records founder is seen asking Barron to introduce herself to his Instagram followers during a live session. My name's Ava, I'm a Scorpio. No, no. Began before Diddy interrupted her and told her to say her last name. Ava Baroni Combs? Yes, it's, it was breaking news. Billionaire hip hop mogul then claimed that he had adopted the white. Yeah, I, want you, I want you to tell them the story about how I adopted you. you but you still have beautiful parents that, but you're my child also. But please, please tell the story. He said, as several other men made appearances in the background of Video Baron, then jokingly explained she was on the streets before Papa came, decided that he was going to be a caring man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> on the streets <laughs> and then Papa Kung decided that he would like to be a caring man so then he saw me and decided to pick me up and said to come inside and play with the stage. Adding that she and the rapper twin daughters Jess and Dalila are basically sisters concluding the clip Diddy clarified that the girl's name was Ava Baron comes before affectionately. Kissing her on the cheek in the wake of the federal investigation authorities asserted that the girl featured in the TikTok video, whom Diddy identified as his adopted daughter, could potentially be Ava Grace Baldwin, who was reported missing by her parents in 2015. Cat Williams revealed Diddy's victims after Cat Williams had recently made known his personal experience with Diddy. I hesitate to also mention the way Diddy had been involved in growing young talent over the years, causing them to have to pay a heavy price. The comedian expressed his deep concern for the victims of Diddy's abuse and his alleged predatory behavior towards them. Williams talked about Diddy's alleged sexual abuse over the years in response to the various accusations made against Diddy many women who ascertained that he victims in the music industry. However, Diddy's victims were not only. Women and men were also allegedly involved. Diddy has been caught in several scandals involving his regular tactic of housing up and coming male artists who were striving to become famous and successful under the GU of being their mentor Diddy would allegedly expose them to a life of drugs and sexual predation. Some of the victims, Williams talked about the famous Nines crisscross boys, even though Jermaine Dupie was the one who signed and brought them to international fame Williams, claimed both Jermaine and Diddy were involved in the spiraling downfall of the duo. He claimed that they introduced drugs to them and destabilized their lives on the crisscross team, which consisted of Chris Kelly and Chris Smith, had a major fallout from the industry in the early 2000s, and they both battled personal problems. The major one was Chris Kelly's addiction to drugs which led to his death in 2013 artist had taken a mixture of cocaine and heroin. The popular R&B artist Usher is also one of the young artists did he took under his wing the relationship fans always thought they hadn't even close to what really went down. 
During Diddy's mentorship phase with Usher Usher started living with Diddy when he was just 14 years old, but the types of things he described that they had witnessed during his stay, there were definitely not what any teenager should have seen Usher must have been traumatized by the events that took place in his early years, but would mostly smiles and dodge questions relating to the situation while leaving tips for the interviewers that featured the R&B artist recorded him being asked about what he witnessed back when he was 14 and was living with Diddy Usher just smiled and said they were very curious things taking place and I didn't understand this left the world believing that Usher himself might have been a victim leaving him emotionally affected and unable to discuss the traumatic childhood he had with his so-called mentor. Another one of Diddy's victims were Cassie Venter and female artist who was formally signed to Diddy's record label. Cassie recently opened up about the encounters she had while she was under the control of Diddy. Cassie sued Diddy for sexual abuse and various other charges relating to her being frequently assaulted by the CEO. The suit filed in November 2023 alleged that Diddy urged her to have sex with male sex workers while he filmed and later, the filed lawsuit turned the public against Diddy but he immediately denied the allegation, saying in a statement, I did not do any of the awful things being accused, I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. However, Diddy later disclosed to the court that he was willing to settle the case behind the scenes to keep the image he had built over the years. Surprisingly, Cassie accepted the offer, and people couldn't help but think Diddy might have threatened her with an unbearable consequence of Diddy's continuous abuse allegations, Diddy's alleged sexual misconduct towards both males and females has become a major issue over the past years, with four other women having sued him, they claimed he used his influence and y'all, this is some crazy wild stuff that's just unimaginable. Are we in a movie or the twilight zone? Do you think that any of this is true? Drop your thoughts in comments below, and then check out this next video.